The Base tab in EasyBase is where you'll choose your desired library, preset, and then dial in your sound with the effects controls. EasyBase includes a modern and vintage bass library with unique presets for each. Both of these basses were sampled with fingers and a pick from a very low A0 to E4. The options for fingers or a pick are made by choosing either a pick preset or a finger preset in the Presets menu. The presets are designed to cover a wide range of musical genres, and each preset has its own unique combination of effects controls. This is where you'll fine-tune the intensity of the processing used in the bass sound. Each pickup on the bass also has its own continuously variable level control, which allows you to define the perfect balance between the neck and bridge pickup for your mix. The preset-dependent processing controls give you the flexibility to dial in the overall color of the bass sound. These seemingly simple controls are linked to any number of sound processing actions behind the scenes, where multiple EQ moves, dynamic characteristics, and effect intensity can each be tied to single knobs for the user. Below the effects controls is the tuning section. Here you can change the tuning of the bass by octave, semitone, or scent for fine adjustments. There's also tuning presets available. Perfect tuning means that each octave is exactly double in frequency. This is a mathematically perfect tuning and is how most synthesizers are tuned. An actual fretted bass, however, is a bit different. Here, the bass guitar option tunes each note as it would be on a bass guitar fretboard. Finally, piano is much like the bass guitar preset, but instead of being modeled after a bass guitar tuning, it's tuned to match the stretch tuning of the Easy Keys piano. It should be mentioned that these options are extremely subtle. The differences in tuning range from note to note, but they will only vary by a few cents. Below the bass itself is the song track. This is where you'll build your bass performance either by recording MIDI into Easy Bass, dragging and dropping grooves from the Grooves tab, or by using the Add Groove button. The Grooves tab will be discussed in its own video, so I'll move on to the Add Groove button. Clicking this button adds a basic eighth note pattern to the song track. This groove can then be edited with a pointer, pencil, and scissor tool. The pointer tool is used for moving the groove or groove parts on the song track, or for moving parts of the grooves in their respective lanes. In Easy Bass, we've divided the song track into three sections, song parts, chords, and MIDI. This was done so that you can edit one section without affecting the others. Therefore, all new MIDI will automatically conform to the chord changes above. If you'd like to make changes to the song part track, simply right-click and select a new song part option in the menu. You can change the chords with the Add Edit Chord feature. This chord wheel can also be accessed by double-clicking on any chord on the track. Using the cursor tool, you can change the duration of chords on the chord track, and the MIDI below will follow along. Or, if you'd like to draw in the chord changes, you can do this yourself with the pencil tool. Finally, the scissor tool allows you to make cuts in any of the three layers of the track for trimming and editing. Once you have a groove on the track and your chord changes set, you can add transitions with the Transition Editor. This feature will add MIDI note changes in a variety of ways between the chords that you have selected.
Next in line is the Replace MIDI function. This lets you replace the MIDI track entirely with professionally played MIDI from the Grooves library, all while keeping your core changes in place. All features of the Grooves tab will be covered in its own video. But for now, know that selecting a groove and clicking the play button will allow you to preview the groove with your chord changes on the chord track. Once you find a groove that you like, click Save Changes to write this MIDI to the MIDI section of the song track. So now you have your chord changes paired with professionally played MIDI from the Easy Bass library. If you're happy with the bass line, you could leave it as is, or you can edit further with Edit Playstyle. Here you can quickly adjust the octave, velocity, amount, damping, and note length with single knobs for each. These knobs can be seen as global adjustments for the selected MIDI on the song track. Fine adjustments to individual notes and articulations are performed in the grid editor and will be covered in a separate video. Velocity changes the velocity of all notes in the selected MIDI. The amount knob adds or subtracts notes from the baseline automatically in a musical way. Damping at low levels replicates old strings, and at high levels it models palm muting. And length adjusts the duration of all notes in the selected MIDI. Outside of its in-depth feature set for programming bass lines, Easy Bass, of course, allows you to record MIDI into its song track with a connected MIDI controller. Just connect your device to your computer or interface, and then select it in the MIDI setup. Once your device is connected, recording is controlled with the transport, where you also can turn on the count-in and metronome. If you record a bass line before selecting the correct key, you can easily change the song key in Easy Bass by selecting one of the No Transpose options. This will change the key of the song track, but it will not alter the MIDI on the song track. If, however, you want to transpose the MIDI on the song track, select one of the standard options. All of the features that we went over earlier, such as the chord track, edit playstyle, and replace MIDI, also work with your own recorded MIDI.